My name is Helen. I've been married to Chris for five years, but recently our communication have decreased, and I feel lonely every day. Meanwhile, I remember the time when we just got married and was planning to go on a trip together. I arranged a ticket, making it a secret for Chris. Something happened when I was preparing to pack my things. Chris? Yeah, what's up? Um, I want to ask you something. What is it? I'm working. Make it quick. Um, where is the travel bag? A、uh, travel bag? Are you going to use it? Yeah, I want to use a slightly larger bag. Why don't you use yours? Mine is a bit small, so I want to use yours. Sorry, I don't know where it is. Can we do this after I get home? Hmm. Okay, but I want to use it now, so I'll look for your room. Wait, it's messy right now, so don't. I will find it when I get home. Please don't go into my room. What's the rush? Do you not want me to see something? No, that's not it. Just don't go into my room right now. Come to think of it, you wanted me to leave you alone these days and spending time in your room. Are you hiding something? Um, of course not. Oh yeah, tomorrow is our wedding anniversary. I'll buy a delicious cake today, so please be excited. Let's celebrate together. Let's take time and spend it together once in a while. What? A wedding anniversary? That's July. It's next month. What day are you making a mistake for? You're being strange. Are you possibly cheating on me? What are you saying? There is no way. Sorry, I have to get back to work. Oh, Chris, I found your bag. Since when do you carry two cell phones? Is this the phone that you used to cheat on me? The password was easy, so I saw the contents. Oh wow! We only have few pictures together, but you have so many with this younger woman. There are lots of facial expressions that you don't show me. It seems like you are having a time of your life cheating on me. Excuse me, you entered my room without my permission. We are married. It's normal to enter your room. I think it's better to keep things to yourself if you don't want me to see anything. So, what is this? Where is this, and who is she? Well, that. And what is this bag? A bag for cheating? Is this a baggage for spending a night somewhere? Actually, I am preparing for a trip and about to pack. This is already prepared. This is so nice, right, Chris? Entering my room without my permission, looking at my phone. Even if you're married, there are things that you should and shouldn't do. Right back at you. So it's okay to have an affair with someone, even if you're married. We haven't had time for each other. So I remember the time when we just got married, and was preparing for a trip together. And the anniversary that you were talking about tomorrow is the anniversary that you met this woman. It was just two months ago that you started talking to her. You're the worst. Fine, if you insist, it's okay with me if we get a divorce. You wouldn't be able to live without me, though. Fine, let's get a divorce. Are you sure? You are very confident. You can't live your life without my income, right? 
You seem so bossy. No worries. I'm completely fine. When you were enjoying your affair, I started a side business and have earned enough income. I can live without you. Is this true? Hey, are you going to leave me? You are the one who said that. The place we were planning to go together is the place you've been wanting to go. Japan. Too bad, I was thinking of going to Okinawa. I'm going to invite my little sister. Okinawa? Wait a minute. Sorry, it's all my fault. I will apologize. I want to go to Okinawa. Please, Helen. You're too late. I've made my decision. Let's get a divorce. You should live with that woman. Sorry, but I will bring everything that I bought. Probably almost nothing will be left. You should be thankful that the house is yours. Oh, and I will leave you the loan for the house. Well, goodbye then. After I found out about his affair, I didn't want to see the face of my husband. So I packed my things and stayed at my parents' house. And I enjoyed my trip to Okinawa a few days later with my sister.